Now, my students, let's continue the lesson. We will learn ascendant order and descendant order on the number line. Let's go. What do you think of skip counting by threes now? Well, use this number line. Are you ready? Let's jump together. 300, 303, 306, 309, 312. Well done. When we are skip counting by three, we are jumping by three units on the number line. Let's write these numbers. 300, 303, 306, 309, 312. Have you noticed that we add three to each number to get to the next number? Wow, what a nice worm. It has numbers on it. Hmm, there is a missing number. And here too. Let's figure out the missing numbers. Here's the number 413, then 416. Have you noticed that we added three to move from the first number to the second number? So, we will use skip counting by threes. Let's go. 416, if we add three units, it becomes 419. If we add three units again, it becomes 422. If we add three more, it becomes 425. If we add three units, we have 428. If we add three more, we have 431. Look at this number line with me. Let's read the numbers on it. 125, 130, 135, 140, and 145. Have you noticed that we jump five units every time we move to the next number? This is called skip counting by fives. Look at these numbers. Every time we jump, we add five to get to the next number. Here we have some missing numbers. Let's find them together. Here is the number 815, followed by the number 820. Hmm, what is the missing number here? Have you noticed that we are adding five? So we will skip count by fives. That means the missing number here is 825. And when we jump another five, it becomes the number 830. Then we jump five units to find the missing number here, which would be 835. Well done. Look at all these nails. We want to know their amount. There are a hundred nails in this box. To count the rest, should we continue counting by ones and say 101, 102, and so on? Or is there an easier way? Look, each group of these consists of 10 nails. And to make counting easier, we will skip count by tens. Let's count together. Here, there are 100. And when you add this group, it becomes 110, then 120, 130, 140, 150, and finally 160. So we have 160 nails. Look, my students, at these balloons and how beautiful their colors are. There are numbers on them. Hmm, we have some missing numbers. Let's find the missing numbers together. Here is the number 225, then the number 235, then 245. As we move to each number, we jump 10 units, so we will skip count by tens. That means the next number is 255, then we jump 10 to get the number 200. And 65. Well done. What is the number that is one less 
than 125. Let's draw a number line to help us. Here is the number 125. Now, we want to determine the number that is one unit less. So, we will move one unit to the left. That will get us to the number 124. Hmm, did you notice that? We went one unit backwards. This is called backward skipping by one. If we have the number 253 and we want to know the number that is two units less, what should we do? Let's draw a number line to help us. Here is the number 253. So, what is the number that is less by two? Less means that we will go to the left. In this case, we will go back two units. Come on, one, two. So, the final number is 251. Well done. This is called backward skip counting by two. Here we want to know the number that's three units after 313. Let's draw the number line to help us. Here is the number 313. We want to know the number that comes three units after. Concentrate. If it increases by three, then we should use skip counting by three. And since it increases, we will move towards the right. Let's go. One, two, three. So the final number is 316. Well done. If we want to skip count from the number 125 and we want to know the number that is less by 5, we should draw a number line to make it easier for us. Here is the number line 125. We want to know the number that is less by 5. So we will go backwards by 5 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the final number is 120. And this is what we call skipping backwards by 5. Here we have 120. And we want to know the number that is less than it by 10. What should we do? Let's use a number line to make this easier for us. Here is the number 120. To find the number that is less by 10, we will go 10 units backwards to the left. So the final number is 110. This is what we call skipping backwards by 10. So my students, today we learned skip counting by twos within 999, skip counting by threes within 999, Skip counting by fives within 999. Skip counting by tens within 999. And skipping backwards within 999.